since the mid 1980s, mid to late 1980s, Hometown Cable has been uh, on the streets of mowers on Labor Day weekend, taping the annual Labor Day weekend parade but, uh, and uh, the field day put on uh, by the fire department and EMS service and now it's just plain fire department I believe, the EMS is part of the Champlain Mowers EMS. It's uh, Sunday, September 6, 2020 and uh, I think they got a chicken out there directing traffic. Uh, chicken barbecue going on. Uh, COVID-19 has uh, affected everybody and we have a COVID-19 safe event going on here at Chicken Barbecue and there's also uh, as I know from first hand uh, sausage, uh, Michigan's, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, all that kind of stuff available. People are coming in down at that far side, driving across the Dragoons Farm Equipment property, entering here into the front of the Moore Station, and the food is brought to them. A COVID-19 safe event. Uh, the fire equipment is parked here at Dragoons Farm Equipment. Uh, Dragoons are always a part of the community and always very, very, very helpful. So this is what a COVID-19 friendly event looks like here in the year 2020. Hopefully next year we'll be back for the parade. But for this year, the fire department is making the best of it and we applaud them for their efforts. Calvin Castine competing with Nate Bilo's music here. You got a you got an on-off switch on that thing? There we go. Maybe we can get the game in here. It's Calvin Castine at Lion Mountain. It's the sixth day of September 2020. And this is game two in the best of three championship round of the Champlain Valley Baseball League. The Lion Mountain Miners are up first. They took game one. And at the plate is uh, Logan Matthews, the third baseman. You're right on it. You're right on it. On uh, the pitching rubber is Tom Neal for the fourth ward. There's strike two. Umpires, before we forget, we've got uh, Jason Kaplan behind the plate. It looks like Keith Revedu at first and Chuck Langlois on the third base side. Temperature is about 65 degrees, maybe hitting 70 now. It's starting to warm up. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, it's the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. And on a, whoa, back to the pitcher over the first whoa. for the out. We'll give you that defense here for the fourth ward. Uh, let's see, as we said, pitching is Tom Neal. Behind the plate is Kyle Erickson. Next time, next time. At first base is Joe Toloski. Second base is, oh, that's the wrong team. That's uh, the right team. That's the fourth ward. Uh, uh, second base is Jack Toloski. Shortstop is Stephen Perrier. At the plate now is Cody Perrier. Uh, third base, it's uh, Ryan Whalen. Outfield left to right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've got a center fielder. There's a strike. I better watch the batters here. Center fielder is Eric Rock. Right fielder is Boston Duquette. So that would leave uh, CJ Worley in left. There's a strike called. Uh, Bill Chase is supposed to be joining us, but he's busy selling our raffle tickets. So hopefully he'll be over shortly. But he, uh, Helps fund a lot of things happening in and around Denimar and Lion Mountain. I hit ball to the center field area, and it is caught. All right, Caden, let's go, so that's kid. two down, and Caden Kobolowski, the catcher, will step in. Here in the top of the first. Helen Kowalowski is on deck. He'll be followed by the team manager and first baseman, Chris Chase. 
and Josh Judnan, Bailey Cross, Brett Judnan, and Noah Lederman. And I arrived, I saw Guy Juno and uh, Guy and Mary Jo Juno over there, and I said, what the heck are they doing here? Then I remembered that uh, their grandson, Noah Lederman, is who graduated from Peru, is on the team. I just missed. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, beautiful sunshine, and uh, it's like the uh, slag pile is getting uh, lower over that way. Maybe. As a slow roller, that's going to be foul. And our way here, we stopped. Uh, come on, Come on, get a view at, uh, at the Morris Fire Station where they're having their COVID 19 compliant. Uh, Barbecue, chicken barbecue, and people were driving in and driving out. My wife had gone there earlier to pick up our meals. Uh, Judy was there, and she had a she and my grandson each had a nice uh, barbecue chicken. I had a hot sausage. So we're gonna go to the bottom of the first championship baseball. No score. Doug Tulowski will lead off the bottom of the first for the Fourth Ward Cardinals here against Lion Mountain. On the pitching rubber is uh, Bailey Cross. A lot of former Bobcats on this uh, Lion Mountain team, obviously, and an awful, uh, at least one on the uh, Fourth Ward Cardinal team, uh, uh, Stephen Perrier. His battery mate, uh, Cross's battery mate, is Caden Kabalowski. He, uh, he's a Beatman Town fellow, but his uh, <laughs> roots are here in uh, Lion Mountain. His father, Jerry, I noticed, was coaching at third. There's a bunt. A left handed pitcher firing the first in time. All right, beautiful play. <laughs> beautiful play, Cross coming off. The rubber and firing to chase. Come on, Ken. You got to swing your way on base. <laughs> views expressed by the crowd are, <laughs> are views expressed by the crowd. I take no responsibility for them. I barely take responsibility for what I say. I'm not going to take responsibility for what they're yapping about. All right, who we got here? This is uh, C.J. Worley. He's the left fielder. All right, so you continue with that defense. So at first base, as we said, is Chris Chase. That misses. Uh, second base is Josh Juttonen. Shortstop is Brett Juttonen. Third base is Logan Matthews. Yeah, here we go. That's low. Probably ball three. Alfield left to right, we got Cody Perrier, Kellen Kowalowski, and Noah Lederman. That's a strike. It's probably a full count. Hard hit up the middle. That's a base hit. A well, one out single for Worley. And it puts a man on, and Stephen Perrier Jr. coming up for. What do you got? Injured player? How many injured here? A cross stepping off the mound? I'm not sure. Rubber looks a little high. I'm not sure what happened here. All right, Cross is going to give it a try here. I guess he stepped and rolled his ankle a little bit. Oh, Bobcat pitching to a former Bobcat also here. There's Perrier, fouls yeah, it off. Lefties don't like lefties curveballs. I've been there before. Come on, Beezer. Runner at first. Lefty pitcher can keep a better eye on the runner. Oh, There's a swing aye, and a miss. Aye, aye, aye. Come on now. Don't help him out. The 
In the dirt? Yeah. No oh, hold, then. no run, no advance, I should say. Come on, Beasley. Dimensions, it's a 417 to straightaway center. That's a 330 down the lines. Again? Come on! No, he can't Again. do that! Come on! Come on! Like he got hit. Oh, they're did. laughing at you. He's oh, laughing at hurt. you. Oh. <laughs> He's laughing at you. Hill hit batter puts the runners at first and second with one out. And Joe Toski, the first baseman and cleanup hitter, is at the plate. Takes it high. On deck, Ian McCaslin, the eighth. Also a Beatman Town player, but uh, he's got Champlain roots. There's a strike. Aaron, one to one. Hard to leave into those. Up the off foe, off the arm of uh, Krause. He goes to second in time. Good block, Chris. Good play. Good play. Good work. So they get the middle runner. Shortstop uh, Jutnan firing to second baseman Jutnan. Uh, Jutnan's up the middle. They, uh, Jutnan combination up the middle here. Now Ian McCaslin, if you're scoring that in your scorebook, you have to give the start with the one off the pitcher. So one six four is the put out in your scorebook. I'm sure most of you are scoring it at home in your scorebook. You get your scorebooks out, I'm sure. Good. Just oh, missing. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. We're letting them lean into them. We're giving them that. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. That's high. Come on, BJ. Oh, first and third, runners at the corners. Come on, Fred, jump, make a play! Chop to the left side, long throw to first. Easy. In time, so goes from Matthews to Chase for the out, so they strand two, and after one full, there's no score. Keller Kowalowski steps in to lead off the top half of the second in this scoreless ball game. Game three in the best of three. <laughs> Lion oh, Mountain victory low, and the low. series is over. Fourth Ward victory and they'll live to play another day. That's oh, that got him. We can hear that from here. We got to hear it from here. So Keller Kowalowski gets on. Two hit batters here. And just six outs, so a lot of hit batters. Here's Chris Chase, the first baseman. He looks like he's wearing the Aaron Judge number. Foul ball. Wait for it. Get up in the middle. Wait for it. I don't know. Come on, Chris. Come on, deck, Josh Juttonen. Here's the pitch. Swing. Oh, reaching for that one. Go to first, and he's back. A little slow. Put it in play here. Put it in play. Wait for it. Let's get running over here, eight. Let's get going, eight. Let's get going. He'll throw it in the outfield. Chop to the left side. For the second will be in time. That's all right. That's all right. No, we heard the explosion. So that's uh, Stephen Perrier over to 
The second baseman, Jack Koloski. So that's one out. Chase at first now. And Josh Jutman, second baseman, will step in. Josh Jutman. 6-5 win the first one, so it was a good one. We didn't uh, record that one. Hit the third, knocked down. Throw to first will be safe. A bang banger. Uh, Jotnan reaches on the E5. But uh, just barely. We'll send it back to the studios for a look at the replay, and uh, they concur it's a, it's a good call. Here's Bailey Cross now, Cross the, the pitcher. It's uh, first and second with one out. Here's the pitch to the pitcher. He hits it up the middle. It could be a tailor-made double play. Throw to first in time. Juttonen should have held up and forced him to make the throw to second. He ran into the tag. And that allowed them to make the easy throw to, to first. So nothing across. We're going to go to the bottom of the second. Eric Rock is going to step in and start the bottom of the second in this scoreless ball game. Uh, now Jutman on uh, that play was hustling, and uh, you got to be, be aware of those things, though. You got to put the brakes on. It's not easy when you're trying to get the second and beat the throw. To suddenly put the brakes on, but uh, it's a lot easier to make that decision up here than it is uh, <laughs> when you're hustling out in the ball field. So it's still scoreless. Uh, fourth Ward Cardinals at the plate here against the Lion Mountain Miners on his ninth month, sixth day of 2020. To the right side. The second baseman, Josh Jutman makes the catch. And we got one down. And third baseman, Ryan Whalen, will step in with Boston Ducat moving on deck. Strike one. Cross delivers. Aye, 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 aye. Take the score and keep his puncher up there with you. <laughs> Old two pitch. Back to cross. Watch it. You should have Over the chase. Get a bit out third. You should have down. Two down. He'll bring up Boston Ducat. In the dirt. Nice block there by the catcher Kowalowski. Ball two. That's a high. Popped up over our head. No, didn't hit any vehicle. Parking lot was full when I pulled in. I pulled in between games, and fortunately, there were some people that were heading out. Yeah, otherwise, I'd be parked at the alley out, probably, or up at the Legion. I think he wants to swing it there, one, three. Uh, maybe I've gone to church at St. Bernard's and, <laughs> and parked there. But the people were driving out, and. I had a space to park. I like to park too close to the this ball four. I like to park, park too close to the field here because uh, foul balls do go into those stands and uh, beyond the stands and into that parking lot. So number nine hitter uh, Kyle Erickson will step in. Top of the order, Jack Toloski on deck. Number 13, Kyle Erickson. Never heard of this. Cross set. 
Comes to the plate. Line drive, base hit. Who's that guy? Did he bat game one? He should have. No, he's uh, on with a single. Then they're not going to use the courtesy runner. Now top of the order, Jack. Jack Tulowski's up. Good place for a pop-up. Good place for a pop-up right here. First and second, two down. Bottom of the second, no score. Game two and a best of three. Just missed. Wow. Just missed. Look good. Must have been high. Must have looked good from here, but it was, must have been not a all not over the plate. Fooled everybody. There's one. Same spot. One one. Uh, ball two. Stop by uh, catcher Kabalowski. One and two. Hit on the ground to second, to short, I should say. And they get the four, six seconds, so it goes from Juttonen to Juttonen for the out. And before we forget, uh, I know earlier today I saw a little bit of Facebook Live coverage by our buddy Steve Chris. He's sitting over there, so he's probably uh, doing some updates uh, to keep the fans what's happening here in this game uh, on a live basis as we record it. We're going to go to the third Stono score. <laughs> Leading off in the third inning here for the Miners is uh, shortstop Brett Juttonen. He'll be followed by Noah Lederman. Come on, let's go! And Logan Matthews will be leading off here for Lion Mountain in the third inning in a scoreless game. A line shot, base hit. Lead off single for a Juttonen. I'll bring up the speedy Noah Lederman. We saw him in championship men's soccer too here, so he gets around. Pops it up over their head and in the parking lot. Well, it sounds like it missed everything again. Fans aren't happy unless they hear a, a little glass breaking or some tin uh, crunching. Throw to first and he's back. Hey, let him throw it away, Brett. I'll put you on third. That's Tom Neal. Pitcher, he's uh, being hit for the DH is uh, McCaslin. That's why I haven't seen Neil at the plate. There's a strike. No, too high, says, says the umpire Kaplan. No complaint from the minor fans on this side. Leaches for that one, hits it to third and booted. Or did he get a glove on him? I don't think he got a glove on it even. Misjudged the hops, apparently. So it's first and second. And you get the top of the order coming up with nobody out here. So the Miners are definitely threatening in the third inning. And Logan Matthews stepping up and Cody Perrier on deck. And Caden Kowalowski in the hole. I hope, the, I hope this background music doesn't get us uh, blocked from YouTube because uh, that's our danger here. Every time uh, music is played, uh, somebody wants a royalty and some of it they won't allow on YouTube at all. So that's why we try to avoid music. There's not much we can do when they're running the music while the players are at bat. Just get a tip, a little tip of it for a ball. Take a For a strike, I should say. <laughs> That's I do know the difference. No, That's high. No, 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 no. Ball three, I believe. Now it's 
Neil delivers. Strike three. Well, Matthews goes down swinging. And bring up Cody Perrier, the left fielder, with Kowalowski on deck. One out. First and second. No score here. We're in the top of the third inning. Seven inning ball game. There's a strike. Strike two, healthy cut on that one. Come on, CP, let's go! Popped up. In foul territory, he's got room, he makes the catch. And there'll be no advance. Oh, two down. Two down, and now... Come on, Caden. Caden Kowalowski, the catcher, will be the batter. Get one. Good job here. The catcher, number two. Caden Kowalowski. Oh, they had two on and nobody out. Now there's two on and two out. Come on, Caden. Number three hitter at the plate. No, There's no, a high no, barely no. for ball one. Heading this up. Yeah. Come on, Kate. Hey. Come on, Kate. Yeah, Come on, Kate. Shoot a gas, Kate. Come on. Ball two. Just about the same spot. Make them work. Make them work. Come on, Kate. Come on, Kate. In tight, ball three. Walk would load the bases. Kellen Kowalowski on deck. Center fielder, cleanup hitter. Fly ball. That's it for the out. He flies out to the left fielder, Worley. So. A strand two, we're going to go to the bottom of third, still scoreless here on Hometown Cable. Well, both teams are threatened and nobody's scored yet. C.J. Worley is going to lead off the bottom of the third with a line drive single down the left field line. So we'll bring up the three, four, and five hitters to the heart, heart of the order coming up. Even Furrier Jr. Today. <laughs> Even Perfect <laughs> Jr. At the plate. Got on be a hit batter last time. He says, I'm not going to take that kind of talk. He hits this. Whoa! Oh, line drive. Keller. Kowalowski. Made one heck of a catch out there in center field. Took an extra base hit away from Perrier. Hey, you should have leaned into it. You might be on base. Now Joel Tomoski, the first baseman, will step in with one out. Runner at first. Cleanup hitter. Looks at it. One in the dirt. We're going to have a man at second base. In the uh, center field at 417, down the lines at 330. It's whoa, let's head to the left center field area. Out number two, no advance. It's 389 in the gaps in left and center. A symmetrical field and uh, good distances all around. There's Ian McCaslin, the designated hitter, stepping up. Cross, checks the runner, delivers. Kazan drives it foul, strike one. Back 
Dice Ball in Lion Mountain. Uh, I've hardly let a summer go by without doing at least one game up here. Oh, they glad we're able to sneak this one in. A big ball diamond in Lion Mountain. Legendary spot. And legendary players and teams have played here. Time. Chop to the left side. Wow, good play. Nice. Fire to oh, first oh, in time. Oh, oh, oh. So well done by Logan Matthews. Uh, we're going to go to the fourth inning. Still scoreless here in viewer supported hometown K ball. Cleanup man and center fielder Keller Kowalowski takes strike one to start the top half of the fourth inning. And it's a 0 0 ball game. Game two and a best of three. Fourth Ward Cardinals in a must win situation to keep the series and season alive. Top to second. It's grabbed by uh, Kowalowski, and we have one down. Now, Chris Chase, the first baseman. Well, I'm not sure if uh, Chase is the manager or not. You know, Jerry Kowalowski seems to be doing a lot of coaching on the players. Uh, Chase is the one who gave me the lineup. Uh, I'm not sure who's the official manager, but uh, ball one. Come on, Chris. Get us going, kid. Get us going. Ah. <laughs> All right. Come on, Leave it down. Chris. Come on, Chris. It's swearing going on here in the stands. Nate Bilo. Hit to the stretch stop. Oh, through. Through, so Chase is going to reach. Now Josh Jutton, the second baseman. Chopped back to the pitcher. Neil goes to second in time for the force. So that'll be two outs, and Juttonen will reach on the fielder's choice and bring up the, the pitcher, Bailey Cross. Missed inside, I guess. Ball one. Brett Jutton on deck. Come on, come on. Get thinking about you. Strike. One and one. Top half of the fourth. Scoreless tie. Good eye. Misses. Ball two. Due to the sun situation, we have to shoot from this side rather than the third base side of the field. That's why yeah. in this particular spot, that's through the right side cross. Going to send uh, Josh Dutton into the third. Uh, Base it for Bailey Cross. And it's runners at the corners. Oh, 
little single here, a little single Two outs, here. so we have two outs, and Brett Jutton and the shortstop stepping in. Le Noah Lederman moving on deck. So both teams have threatened in the earlier innings, but nothing across yet. O'Neill trying to pitch his way out of this one. Smith, Josh Smith. Ball one. There's a strike. One and one. All right, Bailey, you ready? You gotta be loose by now. Make sure you get that out. Get that out. You gotta come back. Come on, young junkie. Come on, young. Right, two. No, two and one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. That's high. Ball three. Good job. Block would load him up for Lederman. Good count right here. Walker, Come on, gotta be you, Walker, gotta be you. Load him up for Lederman. Hitters count. Jutton looking for something to swing at. Go to first, cross his back. Zone in. There it comes. Foul tip. Fill the count. Be three and two. Full count. Payoff pitch is swung on and missed. Looks like he was handcuffed a little bit on that one, so we're going to go to the bottom of the fourth, halfway through this one. No score here on Viewer Sported Hometown Cable. Eric Rock is leading off the fourth ward, half of the fourth. Takes a strike down the middle from Cross. 0-0 zero, zero is the score. We're halfway through this one. Nice. With the belt. Strike two. 0-2. Oh On deck, Ryan Whalen with Boston Ducat to follow. Hit to left. To left side. Nice play. Matthews over the chase for the out. Uh, one down. And now Ryan Whalen. Cardno third baseman steps in. Boston Duquette on deck. Kyle Erickson in the hole. The Miners have sent up 21 batters thus far. It's popped up. Left field. No, shortstop. Excuse me. First stop, Jutton and grabbing it. That's two down. Now Boston Duquette, he's the uh, 17th batter for the Cardinals. So that means the Miners thus far have stranded more runners than, uh, than the Cardinals. Missed off the plate. Ball one. Right center field. Grabbed by the right fielder, Lederman. And for making that catch, we're going to let Lederman lead off the top of the fifth. We're going to go to the top of the fifth, scoreless. Lederman. While we were chatting, he was busy leading off the top of the fifth, hitting it to 
the shortstop Perrier and Perrier firing to first to get him out. So one down. And bring up the top of the order, Logan Matthews, the third baseman, will step in. Come on, Logan. Good time here. Good time. He reaches for one, there's strike one. Set that, set that, you know, come on. Go with it, go with it. Oh, there goes Bill. Bill with a seeing eye dog. Chasey. That's popped out of play. Bill Chase with Chasey, his dog. Come on, Logan. <laughs> After the lake up here, Shazy Lake. That's a little high. Cody Perrier on deck. Woo! No! 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 And a pitch. No, no, Off the plate, ball three. Ball three. Three two, full count. And a payoff pitch to Matthews. A swung on, hit the straightaway center. Maybe at least a double. And they're going to hold him up. Jesus, no! They hold him up. Nice hit. Larry Kowalowski holding him up. Nice hit. They'll bring up Cody Perrier with Caden Kowalowski on deck. The lefty swinging Cody Perrier will step in with a man in scoring position. And one down. Here's the pitch. Hits it to the right side just to at least advance the runner. He gets them to the third, so two down. Two down. Now, Caden Kowalowski, the catcher and number three hitter. Oh, nothing across here yet. We're in the top of the fifth. And it's a 0-0 uh, score. Game two in this best of three. No, we Ball one. Well, she's able to score on a wild pitch here, a fast ball. Pitch from Neal. That should be playable. Two outs. That's fair! That's fair! It's a fair ball right down the line. A double down the line, an RBI for Caden Kowalowski. That went further and stayed to the left more than we thought. Well, double right down the left field line. And the first RBI, first run scored in the ball game. Now Kellen Kowalowski steps in. So that uh, infield out there by Cody Perrier looms big at this point. He advanced the runner. Have a courtesy runner, and it's, and it's going to be Cody Perrier, the courtesy runner for the catcher. This allows the catcher to get his gear on and keep the game moving faster. And it, it has to be the uh, man who made the previous out. So that's Cody Perrier. So he's happy as happy as heck to be out there running a second. Chris Chase on deck. O'Neill looking to put an end to this inning here and keep it at just one. And Kellen Kowalowski looking to make it uh, twice that. 
Strike one. Strike two, swing and healthy cut. And we got a 1 3 out there that's starting to turn on us there. Hey, come on there, CP. Nobody puts in a pinch runner. Number six. Too early for that. Popped up. Chase, I'm dead. Bye. Foul tip, got a piece of it. Come on, Keller! Chopper to short, throw to first in time for the out. So a run for the Miners. They lead one nothing to four and a half. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. It'll be Kyle Erickson, then the top of the order. Ball one. Here in the bottom half of the fifth. Popped up. Coming right at us. Whoa, look out, look out. Should have been caught. Should have been caught here. <laughs> Right at us there. If I'd brought my glove, I would have had it. the 50-50 money over here. There we go. All kinds of action going on. Shazy is barking at, at the fans. Must have went to church with Bill. Sutton and Chase for the out. And Erickson is out. I'll bring up the top of the order now. Jack Tulowski with T.J. Worley on deck and Stephen Perrier in the hole. I got the fourth ward Cardinals. Probably uh, in the end of the quarterfinals. When they were facing the Champlain Rockies, and Stephen Perrier wasn't with them. Uh, he was uh, at school. He only plays on the weekend. So if there's a, a game three, uh, Perrier may not be here. There's a, a little bit high. There's another one just right. missing. I'm back now. All the way back. Cross winds, delivers as a strike. No one hit. Come on. Three one. So you, Josh, right here. Tulowski. Uh, at the plate. Here's the pitch. Ball forward to Tulowski. So it puts a potential tying run on and a potential go ahead run. CJ Worley stepping in. One out. Make sure one. Hey, 
That's high, ball one. I don't see anybody warming up in the in the bullpen. I don't see a bullpen. That's a in the dirt. And we're gonna have an advance to second. Potential tying runs at second base. Come on, let's go, Focus here. Crunch on, let's go. Blaze One out. Tying run in scoring position. Number two hitter at the plate, number three hitter on deck. Well, big out here for Cross. And a diving catch. A diving grab by the second sacker. Josh Juttman. A line drive, well hit ball by Worley. <laughs> now Stephen Perrier. Two outs. Boys at first, you know. Well hit ball. Got a glove on it. It's an RBI double for Stephen Perrier Jr. And he has tied up the game. All right, let's go. Here we go. Come on, Bailey. Throw a nice Bailey. Wow, he represents the potential go ahead run, and Joe Toloski, the batter. Well, you can see why they would hate to be without. Uh, Perrier, but unless they win, they won't have that opportunity <laughs> to play without him. Got to win to get that opportunity. Nice. All right. I believe he is in school at Siena, so he's not that far away. So whether he would make that long trek and back and forth, I do not know. But at this point. He doesn't have to worry about it. And his team has to win to start worrying about that. Strike call. <laughs> Fifth inning, 1-1 one, one to score. Two outs. Joe Toloski at the plate, cleanup man. <coughs> Rounded into the fans. And the pitch is swung on, hit to left center field. This will probably score Perrier. Here he comes. <coughs> he scores the go-ahead run. Ball gets away. <coughs> and Joe Tulaski is going to settle for a RBI single. And it's a 2-1 Cardinal lead. And Ian McCaslin will be the batter. Two one Cardinals. We have a pinch runner on at first base. Number one, not sure. Don't have all the numbers of the subs, so not sure who it is. This is uh, McCaslin at the plate. Subs for the uh, Cardinals. I should have done this at the end of the game. Zach Rainville, Connor Burns, Casey Favreau, Alex Fulmer, and Wyatt Premore. And foul. Nope, don't hear anything crashing. For the minors, uh, 18, Josh Rabideau, Cody Smith, 22, Connor Cody, 21, Cody Lambert, 10, and Ethan King, 64. Oh, here we go. Could be trouble. Now we score. Let's go. grabs it. So it's 2-1 after 5-4. We're headed for the sixth in a seven inning ball game.
Well, it is team trailing 2-1. Chris Chase will lead off the top of the sixth inning. Game two in a best of three. Cardinals of the fourth ward leading. They hope to force a game three. Miners would prefer to get it over with. Call it a season. Swing and a miss. Come on, Chase. Come on, 99. His glove hand <laughs> as the ball stung a little bit. Uh, line drive, line drive from Chase. One down, and Josh Jutman will step in. Hit the third. Another 5-3 out. As Whalen fires to Joe Tulowski. Two down. And Bailey Cross will step in. Strike one. Come on, Bailey. Score a lot with two here. Let's go. I'm anxious for a little in front. That's all right. Do that back. All right. <laughs> Chopper. Two short. Go to first for the out. So it goes from Stephen Fourier to Tulaski for the out. Three up, three down, nothing across. After five and a half, we're going to the bottom half of the sixth inning here with the Cardinals leading it 2 1. We have a Dutton and Keystone combination. And now we have a Kowalowski battery with uh, Kaden Kowalowski pitching and Kellen Kowalowski now the catcher. Uh, catcher had been Kaden and now it's Keller. And in center field we got uh, who do we get? Uh, Lederman moved to center and uh, Cody Lambert came in to play right field. So we've got uh, Eric Rock leading off. Another strike. And 2 1 here. Fourth Ward Cardinals leading the Lion Mountain Miners. Champlain Valley Baseball League Championship Round. Uh, so September 6th. Labor Day weekend Sunday. Hit to the right side. Chase knocks it down. Kowalowski is there to cover the plate. Here on viewer supported local television, hometown cable. Ryan Whalen now up. If you're watching this, you're a viewer, and this programming is supported solely by viewer support. So if you appreciate Hometown Cable being here in Lion Mountain on this Sunday afternoon, that's ball one. 
We could use your support to keep this program in coming. In our 38th year, we've completed 37. And tomorrow we'll have 37 years and three months of doing this. Started on June 7th, 1983. That's high. That's a strike. Boston Ducat on deck. to those of the fans. So caught there by third baseman Maga Matthews. Two down. And Boston Ducat will step up. Right. Well, even though it's a uh, game is in Lion Mountain, they switched the home, uh, and the home team in this game is uh, the fourth ward. There's a strike. No, off the plate. Off the plate. Off the plate, apparently. We can tell the height, but we can't tell where it is over the plate. Bottom of the six. Why not? We'll get one more turn at bat. Come on! Strike it out! Every time we go, a trade. Alright, so we'll send it to the top of the seventh in a seven inning ball game. It's Lion Mountain needing one to tie, two to take the lead as we head for the seventh here. And the fourth ward hoping to shut him down. It's due or wait till Wednesday for the minors. Oh, Brett, Brett Jutnan leading off. Tom Neal still in the pitching rubber, hoping for a complete game victory. His team leading 2 1 here in the top of the seven. Right. Noah Liederman on deck. Logan Matthews to follow. Cody Perrier in the hole. If we get that far. Fly ball to center field. One down as it's grabbed there in center by Eric Rock. So one down and Noah Lederman will step in. And Matthews on deck, top of the order on deck. Just missing ball one. Two on the score, one to tie, two to take the lead here for the Miners. First game was 6 5 Miners, so both teams have scored seven runs today thus far. 
obviously even matched clubs. He's been more than fair to you. That's a strike. Oh, that's above the bell. There got that one. How about? Come on now. We've been more than fair. Come on, let's go. Come on, Tucson. Break three. Later on, goes down swinging. That's two down. And now uh, Logan Matthews steps in with two outs and Cody Perrier on deck, hoping to get a swing. Brings it the first offering, hits it to the right side. And we are going to go to game three as the ball is grabbed by Boston Duquette for the final out. So a two to one victory, a must win victory for the fourth Ward Cardinals. They defeat the home team, at least home field team, uh, Lion Mountain Miners, and they'll uh, advance to uh, to play on, I believe, Wednesday the 9th. Uh, whether, whether Stephen Perrier can make it or not, uh, we'll find out probably on Wednesday. As I said, he goes to college in Siena, and uh, it's a bit of a drive back and forth. But, uh, he drove in the tying run, scored the, what turned out to be the winning run. So I think they like to, if you're a fourth ward fan, I think you want to see him back here on uh, game three. In the meantime, a well-played game all around. Uh, a uh, game where both teams score the same amount on uh, 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 a day for the day. That's uh, certainly uh, both teams can hang their heads high and they both deserve to go to this game three. Bill Chase is going to draw a winning ticket, but we're going to get out of here. We're going home. Thanks for watching and supporting viewer supported local television, hometown cable. TV worth your support. Go get Chris.